Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face using all natural makeup. Every single thing on my face today is going to be made, made, is going to be a natural makeup product. So that's like something that's clean, non-toxic, it's not full of like nasty chemicals and things. So it's like a natural makeup company product. So without further ado, I guess we're going to get straight to caking the face. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to probably start with the skin and then I'm going to move on to the eyes because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with an eye look today. Like, do I want to make it neutral and wearable? Do I want to make it colourful? Like, I, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to start with the skin because that's the easy bit. So I have a few different primers to choose from. So you guys have seen me use all three of these in separate videos. And I think I might use my mattifying one today. So we are going to be like glowy with like highlighters and stuff so I'm gonna go with the mattifying one plus it just like changes up the brands for you guys so I'm not just using all raw or something like that and I'm just gonna rub it in <laughs> oh it is like so silky smooth it just feels like like a silk sheet on your skin like it just feels so nice it doesn't feel gross or cloggy or anything like that and it does smooth out my pores I've noticed as well so you gotta love that too. Okay, so for foundation today, again, I have a few. So these are the three different raw ones that I kind of dance between. This is quite a thick uh, one that, and more coverage than like this middle one here, this pink one. It's quite like a medium coverage. And then here we've got the light coverage one where this is very natural on the skin. Um, it's probably a little bit dark for me at the moment too. I think I might not use the raws today. I have done a review on all three of these as well, I'll leave them linked down below if you're interested. So instead, I have a couple of these as well. This is the Airbon Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This is a non-toxic company, if that makes sense. So like, the stuff that they have in their makeup products and in their products in general are non-toxic. Like, I don't think they have, I think it's chemical free as well. So I have here Neutral Beige, which is like my ride or die, but they discontinued this color in Australia. So I had to order the Honey Beige. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm feeling it's going to be a little too light. So I have to wait for my skin to uh, lighten up a little bit. So I'm going to go with my Neutral Beige. So I like to put, you know, a fair few little pumps here and there. Just spread it out. You know the drill. So it's been a little while since I've actually sat down and chatted with you guys. God, it's so good to be back just chatting instead of just doing voiceovers. Because I don't really get to, like, update you guys on what I've been doing or... You know, I feel like it's more personal when it's like this like one-on-one -on -one chatting, you know? So, I went and did my first um, like beach cleanup the other day uh, on Sunday. So, it's now Thursday. So, I did it a few days ago. And I was actually so shocked. So, it was about an hour and you go along one of the beaches that the volunteer group has chosen for the beach cleanup um, for that day. And you go around and you clean up the beach. They supply you with like a bucket and one of those little grabby things. Oh, and gloves as well. They give you gloves, which is really nice. And you go around and you clean up the beach, like along the water's edge. And also up into like the shrubs, like that surround the beach, you know, around the dunes and stuff. And after an hour, like we had this huge, like it was about, oh, what you say, like 40 or 50 of us doing it, which was really like faith in humanity restored. Like it was really good to see. So many people volunteering, even like families with their little kids had like brought them along, which I thought was such a great idea because it like teaches the kids like, you know, this is where your plastic and your rubbish ends up if you're not careful with it and it ends up in stormwater drains and into the oceans. But I'm not kidding, after only an hour, we had this massive pile of rubbish and I was like, oh my gosh, it just gives you like perspective on how much rubbish gets like washed up onto the shoreline and that was only on one small beach. Like imagine a proper big beach and doing it for longer, like doing the cleanup for longer than just an hour. And then we um, sorted through the rubbish as well afterwards. So you'd have to count everything so they can record it and use it for research and yeah. It was, it was, it was an educational experience for me because I know like I'm very conscious with my plastic, but then seeing it there, it just made me more invigorated to like be conscious of what I'm buying and like try and go for those more natural packaging brands. Especially my makeup, because I feel like beauty is another hole in itself that creates a lot of excess plastic that you don't really need. So yeah, 
that was pretty interesting. I found that really educational. And I definitely recommend you guys do it if you have the opportunity where you live to go and do a beach cleanup because you're helping out the environment, you're helping out your community. You use the beach as much as everybody else, so we might as well all help to clean it, you know, help create a nice environment. So yeah, that was awesome. Okay. So, continue on with the actual makeup look. This is how the skin is looking. I love this foundation because, honey, it just creates such a flawless finish. Oh, it's delicious. So, I'm going to go in with concealer. I only have one natural concealer and I'm not a fan of it. But I'm like, should I just use it for the video? This is the Raw Concealer. I love every other product by Raw. So, don't get me wrong. I do love the brand Raw. I just don't like this concealer. Because it just, it doesn't stick. Like, it... It flakes away, doesn't st sit nicely on the skin. Um, so this is in the colour Vanilla Nude. Doesn't sit nice. Like, I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. Like, if you guys can get this thing to work, maybe I've just got a dodgy bottle. Maybe it is a good concealer and just, I got a dud, you know? But I've honestly tried and tried and tried and I just can't make it work. Like, I'm not one to just use it once and that's it. Like, I do give her a bit of a go. So I don't tend to wear it. Like I just, it's not a go-to for me. So I might need to start hunting for a better concealer. Okay, so, uh, see, now I'm like, oh, it actually looks good. But then I like, I always do that every time. I'm like, oh yeah, it's good. And then I pour on powder and I'm like, oh, it's not. So usually I use my raw pressed powder in the shade Nude to set my under eyes and my lids. Like that is such a great like pressed powder. But I've run out of that. So I'm actually going to use the Zooey Nutmeg powder foundation. Uh, it's a little tinty bit darker than my skin tone so I actually like using it as like a bronzer slash like giving a bit of colour to my skin um, but today I'm going to use it just under the eyes lightly. So I'm just going to use a, what is this, like a blush brush but very lightly apply under the eyes because I don't want to darken them. I just want to lightly set them. So since we've got the uh, nutmeg foundation or like I call it the face powder, I'm going to go in with my bronzer brush tap this bad boy all over, get a nice generous amount and then I'm just going to give a bit of colour to my skin. I literally live for this foundation powder because I use it as like an everyday like bronzer if I want it to look like a little bit colour, a little bit of something there. I just apply it to the outer edges. It gives me a little colour, a bit of freshness and since I'm still on the Zooey bag wagon bag bandwagon <laughs> I'm going to use the uh, bronzer from them it's like a shimmery bronzer and on a cheek contoury brush I'm just gonna go to, go to town I guess bring it up the side of the temple I do like a little C shape you know just along the cheekbones just hugging them hugging the cheekbones for a bit more structure I don't think I'll go in with highlight and like blush and stuff yet but I kind of want to highlight my decolleté and I've just been having my eye on this glitter stick for a while. I have used this in the Mermaid natural makeup look that I did like last year, end of last year. So I love this brand actually, it just intrigues me so much. I think it's called Plant Makeup. Um, basically they use all natural packaging, so this is literally made from cardboard and they use plants, like 100% plants in their makeup. It even says right here. 100% natural plant makeup. I'm going to be taking photos later. So I want to look extra glowy on the chest area. I'm going to rub it in. I have been using the Jojoba face and body glow as well. Which is also natural so I could probably include that in this video. But I did a review video um, just recently. So you're more than welcome to check that out. Um, but I wanted to use something different today. And just, oh, like, can we take a moment? So before we move on with the rest of the face, actually, you know what, I might do brows and then I'll do my eyes. So I don't actually have a natural brow powder, but what I've been like, doing lately and I've been loving is I've been grabbing the Fat in the Moon Earth Eye Coal. It's like a brown. It's quite dark. And I grab a little spoolie brush. So I just kind of rub it in, get a little bit of a coating to it. And I feather this through my brows and it's literally like a brow tint and it kind of fills in my brows as well as coating them and getting them to stay in the right direction. Brow filled in, brow not filled in. Like do you see the difference? And there we have it. The brows are filled in 
I'm not like super crisp, you know, it's not like, I mean, I could use it as a brow pomade, but that would be a little heavy for, like, for my brows. So I just keep it as more of like a tinted brow gel kind of thing. So I have basically one palette of natural eyeshadows. So we're going to have to make do with like the eye coals and things that I have because I'm going to need more of choice. So you've seen me do a review on this bad boy, this palette, the Havana Certified Organic Flora Eyeshadow Quad Palette. Sorry about that. Like those shimmers, oh, holy hell they're gorgeous. I'm just thinking do I want to do a bronze look today because I already used the pinks. I haven't touched the bronzes as much but then I'm like oh, I'm gonna feel like a pink look. I don't know. Um, you know, I might just I might use a bit of pink because it's cute. But in saying that, I'm gonna put an eye base down. So you're gonna see a few of these products today. These are the Fat in the Moon like eye coals and face highlights and stuff like that. This one is lit. It's a face highlight. I'm gonna use it as an eye base today to really make the eyeshadows hopefully stand out a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna start off by applying this all over my lid just with my finger just the lid area not bringing it into the crease i'm just applying it to the lid god that's so gorgeous i haven't done it as a lid a lid look yet oh i have been missing out oh i'm going to take a bit of dusk which is a like lip and cheek highlight uh, i'm going to use it on the eyes so just the outer corners so that it's a bit darker there Pigment will kind of show up, hopefully, darker in that point. So I'm going to grab a bit of Clay Idol, which is a gorgeous, like, br uh, rusty orange tone. And apply that to the very, kind of, oh, Jesus. It's a little bit dark. Uh, just to the very outer point of the eye. I'm kind of trying to blend it out a little bit so it's not so harsh on the outer edges. Because I want those shadows to kind of fade. I don't want it to be stark and like harsh all right so creams are down the base is down let's put on the eyeshadows i'm gonna start off with the light pink and then work my way darker so i'm just gonna grab some on my finger and go to town just on the oh just on the inner third and then we will blend it in a second so don't worry if it's looking a little stark and I'm grabbing some on a little blender brush here just to soften the edges a little bit because I don't want it to be so harsh. Then taking the darker pink shade and applying that to the outer third or the outer two thirds, outer half of the eye. Not quite to the very outer point but almost. And at this point try and kind of go between the uh, light pink and dark pink to blend them together. So grabbing that little blender brush that we used before and just kind of like swirling it into the two bronzy tones. Whoop. I'm going to buff out the edges, kind of elongating it a little bit. I do find it a little bit of a struggle to blend with shimmery shadows so I may, I may go into the bronzer that we used before because it's matte like that face powder. But just for now, I'm just going to try, try these two bronzy tones. It does actually help a lot having those base shadows down because it just helps the eyeshadows to cling to something, you know. So taking Nutmeg again by Zooey. I'm going to take my favourite blending brush from Eeg Show. Taking Nutmeg and just softening the edges of those shadows. And kind of dragging it out a little bit just so it comes to a point. There, what do you think? <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with that. So, for eyeliner, I do have a black eye coal, but I'm thinking, thinking I might use Earth, like a brown eye coal, because it's less harsh. So, taking Earth on an eyeliner brush, this is from Eeg Show, I'm going to do a little winged eyeliner. Just to ground the look a little bit more. And help the lashes kind of blend into my lash line. So for mascara today, I'm going to take my Raw Volumizing with Coconut Oil Mascara. And for lashes today, I'm going to go in with my Adele Wispies. 
the 120. So this is how the eyes are looking with the lashes applied. Like, God, I just love these Let Me Wispy lashes so much. I'm contemplating putting, like, this pink in my waterline, but I don't want to look like a pink eye, you know? All right, I'm just going to test it out and see. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't thought this far. So I'm taking Dusk and applying that to my waterline. Oh. Oh, that's actually cute. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't look like a pink eye at all. What a relief. <gasps> Yay. So to finish off the eyes, I'm keeping it super simple. Just going to grab these two pinks here. And so just taking that darkest shimmer shadow on the outer point of the eye. Then taking that lightest shadow, the lightest pink one. I'm just going to apply that to the inner third of the eye. Then taking some of that nutmeg pressed powder from Zooey and just softening the edges a little bit. So for an inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm actually going to go in with this like cream shadow, it's a face highlight, it's called Beam. And I'm just on my finger, just applying that to the very inner point of the eye and the highest point of the brow bone. And then I'm finishing off the eyes with some bottom lash mascara. Okay, so we're going to finish off the rest of the face. Uh, I don't think there's any, like, too many different products I want to use now. So I'm just going to do the lips and the cheeks and stuff. So I'm going to give a bit of colour to those cheeks. So taking Dusk on my finger, I'm just going to pat out some of the excess on my hand because she is pigmented. Pigmented, honey. And I also place, you know, any excess just on the bridge of my nose so it looks a little bit more natural. Okay, so we're going to apply a couple different highlights to the cheeks. I'm taking Lit again. And I'm applying that to the highest points of the cheeks. Just so the blush um, has something to kind of blend into. It's not so harsh with the cheek highlight. Because this has a pinky undertone to it. So it's a bit more natural looking. I'm then going in with Beam again. Which is what we used on our inner corner and brow bone. And I'm going to highlight the cheeks the forehead like just pretty much like everything and what i love about these um because they're from fat in the moon as well uh they go over top of powder so smoothly like there's no um separating that's the word they don't separate like it's just so seamless and smooth it just looks like a natural glow to your skin they're literally my favorite favorite highlights and they just capture the light so beautifully oh i'm obsessed so to finish off with the lips i'm going to give myself like a like brownie nude color so i'm going to kind of line my lips and fill them in a little bit with dusk so that's with the oh oh that's actually really pretty with just the pink uh but no, i'll be a bit different i'll add some of clay idol to the center of my lips and to finish off the look, I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray. This is the Raw Super Infused Beauty Watermelon Fresh Setting Spray with watermelon, nori, kiwi fruit, and kakadu plum extract. I love that word, kakadu. Like, it just sounds so Australian. <laughs> Plus, like, isn't that green just so pretty? Like, that turquoisey color. Oh, I live, I live for turquoise. Your girl is done. Oof. What do we think? Full face, using all natural products. How are we feeling about it? Even the Decla share is popping. Mm. So what do we think, guys? Are we happy with the final outlook? Outlook? Outcome? <sighs> I can't talk today. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a big thumbs up. It always helps me out to know what you guys like to see. If you want to see another full face using natural makeup products please let me know because i can get other products and try them out for you i love those review videos and i just love doing these kinds of looks it is a bit of a challenge for me because i'm limited so i do like a bit of a challenge but yeah let me know what you guys thought if you guys liked it if you didn't please let me know otherwise i'll see you in my next video i love you all so much and yeah